So when you observe the scales in fishes, there are different types. So huge number of uh, scales which can be observed in different types of uh, fishes. So the types of scales, let us know. The body of a fish is covered by the very minute or large scales, which are formed from the dermis of the skin. Dermis, dermis of the skin. They are also called dermal scales. So scales are also called dermal scales, which means they are originated from the dermis. That's why they are called dermal scales. Dermal scales. Here you can observe different types of scales. Here also you can observe them. One by one, we'll discuss them. Okay, right here. Yeah. First of all, scales are uh, there. I mean, the shapes and the sizes varies. The shape and size vary from scale to scale. Most primitive type of uh, scales which are uh, made up of dentin. Dentin which is similar to the, that of uh, the dentin of the teeth in higher vertebrates. Okay. So scales, uh, firstly, if you observe, the astrodams are the extinct forms, extinct vertebrates. So which are not seen in uh, nature now. So you, uh, those days they contained such kind of scales so they are the ancestors of the fishes that's why fishes are also having the scales on their body entire body so scales are mostly there are for six types six types of scales we can see them so what are they one by one we'll see them so first one black eyed scales Based on these species, the scales are different types. Cosmoid, cosmoid scales. And third one, gonoid scales. <coughs> and next one, uh, paleoniscoid scales. Paleo and skills. Next one, cycloid skills. Next one, tenoid skills. So these are the six types of skills. six types of scales. So you can observe them one by one. So black eyed scales, first of all black eyed scales, the black eyed scales which are uh, called, I mean, which are exclusively seen in the sharks, I mean cartilaginous fishes. You can observe them in cartilaginous fishes, especially elasmobranchs, elasmobranchs. Elasmobranch cartilaginous fishes are having uh, such kind of uh, black eyed scales which are invisible in nature. You can't see with the naked eye. With the help of microscope only, you can observe them. Okay? Uh, so that uh, it's a misconception that the sharks are not having the scales. Actually, they're present in the dermis, but they are invisible in nature. That's why. With, uh, only with the help of microscope, uh, microscope, we can see them. If you observe them in a microscope, so they are like this. So the dorsal view and the ventral view. So the black eyed scales are dermal denticles, which are also called dermal denticles on the skin. Means they are mostly, they are made up of dentin. dentin. Okay? They are similar to that of the teeth 
they are similar to that of the teeth. Okay. So, uh, if you observe this, uh, they are uh, having the rhomboid appearance, rhomboid structure, okay? A diamond shaped appearance, a diamond shaped appearance also they are having and the basal plate is present which is also in uh, diamond shape. This is the basal plate, basal rhomboid plate, okay, right. <coughs> And each placoid scale at the top, they're having three spines. So one, this, this is one, two, and three. So one median fin and two lateral fins. Spines. One median fin, which is present in the middle. Either sides of the middle spine, there are two lateral spines. So, totally three spines are present at the uh, extreme end. And lower, you can observe the basal plate. Already we have discussed that. So, that's why it is called trident spine. So, these three are present. That's why it's a trident uh, spine. And this um basal plate if you observe the ventral region the ventral region is having the opening the opening of the pulp cavity thus that opening leads to the pulp cavity anterior i mean ascending manner you can th that is a space uh, the pulp cavity is um, filled with the pulp some material gelatinous material is there and also through the opening of the pulp cavity uh, the blood vessels the nerves they enter the pulp cavity okay so it lies i mean all the placoid scales are arranged backward direction okay Next, dentin of spine is covered by a layer of enamel secreted by epidermis. So, dentin of a spine is covered by a layer. Dentin is secreted from the vodentoblast. Vodent Actually, these uh, scales are made up of uh, dentin. And uh, which is, uh, the dentin is covered by a layer which is enamel. So, dentin is formed, I mean, secreted from the odontoblast cells, mesodermal cells, and the enamel is secreted from the epidermis. Epidermis. Okay. Next, the placard scales are arranged from the dermal papillae. Dermal papillae, which are covered by epidermis, already we had, we had discussed. So, um, here, These scales are absent in particular elasmobranchs, which are the chimera, chimera, chimera fish. This is the cartilaginous fish, which, which doesn't have the uh, these kind of uh, placard scales. Okay, students. Next, the second type of scales, which are cosmoid scales. So, cosmoid scales, if you observe the cosmoid scales, so the cosmoid scales are the specialized scales that, I mean, why they are called cosmoid scales? The cosmoid scales are made up of a material which is called casmin. Casmin. Okay. So here you can observe the casmoid scales. So 
the scales were present only in the extinct fishes means uh, they are not i mean uh, once they live in nature but they are not at present so that uh, the scales cosmoid scales which are present in the extinct fishes of uh, crossopterygii crossopterygii and also the only extant fishes i mean present living fishes which are having the cosmoid scales they are diploid fishes diploid diploid means lung fishes diploid fishes lung fishes are also having the cosmoid scales and they were entirely dermal in nature dermal in origin okay i mean cosmoid scales are having uh, the three layers for example here you can observe this is the scale cosmoid scale so uh, three layers are present so the three layers um outer layer is cosmin here like this so uh, the middle layer which is the spongy layer spongy layer and uh, spongy vascular bone that is a spongy vascular bone so outer layer is cosmin similar to dentin and the middle layer is uh, spongy vascular bone and innermost layer is isopidine so isopidine this is called isopidine this is one this one is isopidine the middle one is called uh, spongy vascular bone and the outermost layer is a cosmin layer so there these are the three layers so outermost layer is cosmin that's why these scales are called cosmoid scales which were only present in the extinct fishes okay so they were fused uh, they were formed by the fusion of uh, many placoid scales okay and third one um third kind of scales are ganoid scales so ganoid scales okay ganoid scales here the ganoid scales these are the uh, scales which are present in the ganoid fishes so ganoid fishes are having the ganoid scales and also they are present in actinopterygii fishes actinopterygii fishes actinopterygii fishes okay next they are somewhat similar to cosmoid scales okay they are derived from cosmoid scales so these ganoid scales are derived from cosmoid scales in this type of scales cosmoid layer is absent so that these are called ganoid scales cosmoid layer is absent that is the difference between cosmoid scales and ganoid scales okay um and the examples are uh, some of the uh, i mean already we have discussed the actinopterygii fishes these are the examples the next one next one is the paleoniscaid scales paleoniscaid so fourth category of the fishes are paleoniscaid scales which are found in polypterus which are found in polyp paleoniscaid scales so these are found in polypterus fishes polypterus so polypterus like fishes okay structurally uh, these fishes uh, i mean these uh, scales intermediate between the 
plasmoid scales and gyanoid scales. So, uh, I mean, these are having the both the characteristic features of the plasmoid scales and gyanoid scales. Okay, these are the paleonescite scales. Uh, these scales are also having the three layers, which are uh, inner layer. I mean, inner layer, which is isopedine. Isopidine. Next uh, middle layer is a cosmin. The outermost layer is Ganon. Ganoin. Ganoin. Okay, these are the layers, outermost layer. Okay, next one, um, uh, these are also, uh, I mean, we have discussed that uh, these scales are present in pulp crust. And next one, uh, the fifth category of the scales, cycloid scales. So in such a cycloid scales, in, in these cycloid scales means round, round shaped scales. So they are found in modern bony fishes, carps, carps, major carps like uh, Katla Katla, Labio Roita, Siranus, all these kind of uh, carps. And also Dipnoi fishes, means lung fishes. They're having this kind of uh, cycloid scales. So cycloid scales are present in them. So like this, cycloid scales. So round shaped scales. So, and you can observe that, you can observe the growth rings, the growth lines, these are the growth lines, are the growth rings, which appear on the cycloid scales, which determine the age of the fish, as like uh, growth links in plants, okay? The scales are dermal in nature and are not provided with anomaly. Anomaly is absent in them. Anomaly is absent. And they are different by smooth and free margins. They are marked by concentric rings or the growth rings. I mean, lines of growth or growth lines. Okay. And So, uh, next category of uh, scales are sixth type of scales, which are uh, tenoid scales. So, these tenoid scales, uh, which resemble the uh, cycloid scales, so these are the tenoid scales. Tenoid scales are like this. So, here you can observe the tenoid scales. So these are the tenoid scales. So tenoid scales, which are uh, similar to that of the cycloid scales, but the difference is tiny teeth, a small teeth are present. So this is the only difference between cycloid scales and tenoid scales. So that's why teen means <coughs> boom teeth. So that's why tenoid scales are named as like that, like that. So mostly they are <coughs> present in tenoid scales are present in bony fishes, especially bony fishes like anabas. Anabas like bony fishes are having such kind of tenoid scales. They closely uh, resemble cycloid scales in structure. But they are also thin, flat, rounded plates of the dermal origin. Okay. And they are formed of hard material similar to bone, are not provided with enamel. Enamel is also absent as like uh, cyclic scales, which we have discussed earlier. So, why the scales are important for the fishes? Because uh, they are the exoskeletal structures which 
I mean, uh, prevent the fish from escation, which prevent uh, the fish from uh, the friction of the water. And also they protect uh, from the predators and scales. And these scales mainly uh, give the shape to, uh, to the uh, fish. So that scales are very important. These are the exoskeletal structures of the fishes. So this is about the scales of fishes. So 